Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 7.5 on indoor air pollutants. Okay, so um, to think about this is we have to make sure to classify indoor air pollutants and outdoor ones. There have been questions in the past in the AP exam where you're asked to only talk about indoor air pollutants. And of course, if you get those wrong and you mention stuff that's on the outside, then you're not going to get the points uh, that you can get for those. So some natural indoor air pollutants are going to be things like mold and dust, and then, of course, radon, which we'll focus on at the end here a bit. And then some anthropogenic or human-caused ones are going to be your volatile organics, which we've mentioned before, formaldehyde and lead, which can end up in some of our uh, homes and resources. So let's take a look. So common indoor volatile organic compounds. That's going to come from things like um, solvents or glue. Um, it's going to be in varnishes and stuff like that, scented candles. So basically, if you purchase something and it has like that new smell, like if you purchase a new carpet or new furniture and it's got that new kind of chemical-ish smell, that's going to be a VOC, right? And then, of course, if you purchase stuff that has uh, certain scents or certain uh, odors to it that are supposed to be pleasant, those are actually VOCs as well. And that can lead an accumulative effect as an indoor air pollutant. And then, of course, depending on where you live, if you live in a um, developing nation, um, those areas, if there's a lot of indoor combustion, you can have things like carbon monoxide, the NOx chemicals, sulfur dioxide, particulates, and, of course, uh, tobacco smoke. This tends to happen in natural disasters. Um, people do end up uh, having – there are several deaths occur every year uh, during hurricanes or power outages because people tend to burn stuff indoors to stay warm or to cook, and the carbon monoxide builds up. So um, – that can be a problem as well. So that those are indoor air pollutants that occur often. And then we mentioned radon earlier. That's going to be something to focus on. So I want you to make sure you take a look at this map and see that it's a very regional problem. In the West, there tends to be this naturally occurring radioactive gas that's in the rock, right? Um, and so in the West, those rocks are, form a lot of cellars and basements, and those can end up trapped in your uh, either well water or they can be trapped inside your home and without proper ventilation that can end up causing cancer um, and it's the second leading cause in the US other than tobacco smoke and things like that um, and so uh, to solve this problem we'll talk about it a little more later but to mention it now is to add proper ventilation to those basements and if you let that out to the greater atmosphere it becomes much less of a problem but if you don't live in one of those areas that are in uh, you know, green, yellow, orange, or red, that's probably not something you've heard of, but it may still be on the AP exam, so please make sure you're familiar with it. And here are some other resources if you'd like to look into those uh, a little bit, and hopefully these will be helpful, and hopefully this has been helpful.